Hi, I'm Alicia from Locations Estate Agents Gladstone and we're doing Locations, Lifestyle and Business here with Tess at GIW Designs headquarters in Gundoon Street. Good morning. Oh, morning Alicia. Thank you so much for having me. Yeah, thank you. And thank you for having us in your amazing space. It's always stunning. Always welcome. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> always welcome. So for the people who don't know much about yourself and the business, can you tell us a little bit about what you do okay. and your story so far? Yeah. Um, okay. So my name's Tess. Um, I'm, I guess, a Gladstone local. I've lived here on and off since I was 10. GIW Designs has been in business for about 10 years yes. in July next year. So we're now Studio GIW. That was basically to incorporate the retail side as well as our design business as well. So we moved into this retail space in July last year and we'll be cele we celebrated one year opening in September. So yeah, it's been a super exciting, uh, crazy time. <laughs> yeah, it has. And I think you've had a couple of challenges, which we'll talk about later, but uh, still it's been busier than ever and people that really have good feedback about the shop and coming yes. here and, and having another boutique store in the main street, which is great. Yeah. So a little bit about you. Who is Tess? Well, um, I'm 40 something. <laughs> uh, I'm a mum, I'm a wife, um, interior designer, uh, huge home cook, lover of entertaining, uh, love having friends and family over. My kitchen is my the hub of my house uh, and basically because I, I do love interior design I love designing joinery kitchens and bathrooms um, that kind of love of that and entertaining sort of stemmed where we started the retail side so basically to make table where accessible to everybody and yeah for people to just amplify their everyday eating with a placemat and a napkin or a fancy colored plate yeah, and I, I know we always look forward to your little dinner parties and things that you have and literally the kitchen is the hub of your home and entertaining. You've done a beautiful job you know, renovating that as well, the character in the home and it's it's lovely. You go over, what's Tess cooking? Yes, well, <laughs> it's always very exciting. That's my routine. Every Sunday morning yeah. I have my cup of tea and I sit yes. there and I read my copious amounts of cookbooks and think of what I can make the next weekend for everybody to come over and enjoy and just yeah have a good time keep doing it we love it yeah, okay. <laughs> no worries, does. Stop. <laughs> yeah it's best restaurant in town I'm about I'd say. Line, but anyway. <laughs> best restaurant best restaurant so i mean you, you talked about coming into business having the shop and yes. being one year open mm -hmm. um what has been the biggest challenge for you well even the history of studio giw i suppose the biggest sort of challenge that we had was i guess making the leap into opening the retail space yes um i was online for a year um and it was great and i opened my house to people who were customers online to come and have a look at the wares and the opportunity this you know this um, shop front became available and you yeah. pointed it out to me so yeah. I was like all right do I do it and I just thought look let's just let's just take the leap what's the worst that can happen right mm. <laughs> so, <laughs> sounds like something I would say yeah <laughs> and then we um grew in our team size as well so it was just me for a really long time and at the beginning of last year I uh, Malia Bartlett um, joined us and then the opportunity came up for us to basically get a little bit bigger in terms of our residential and commercial size and Gaylene was, uh, came on board. So yeah, and it's getting a little bit tight in the home office. So it was probably a good time to just take the leap. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, good timing, I think. Yes. Yeah, you know it in retrospect now. Yeah. Probably the yeah. perfect time, but at the right at that time doesn't seem Oh, look, like I don't think there's time. any perfect time. No. I just think you just, yeah, I tend to just jump in both feet and, you know, think about the repercussions <laughs> later. But anyway, so far it's worked out. Yeah, it has. <laughs> For full credit to you as well. Yeah. And to see the, the team grow, uh, the nucleus sort of grow organically is also pretty cool. Yeah. I think you yeah. get that traction in the market and I remember talking to you at that, that time, you're a little bit nervous about, you know, will, will people receive the store well, yes. what sort of business will come, but having a, a presence physically I think has also changed that for you too, being yes. a bit of a game changer. I think so, yeah, and it's nice to be able to like bring people in for meetings and clients to come, you know, we've got a wall where we put all of our project um, colourways and our colour palettes and stuff so people can see them. And it's nice to just have a space where we can just have that all set up for them when they come in, mm. uh, rather than you know having to go to their 
maybe their business or yeah. their house. Yeah. So. Yeah, see, touch, feel. Yeah. People love exactly. it. Exactly. They do. Yeah. They do. So, uh, big goals for you coming up? Anything? Um, well, yeah, okay, probably not too many huge goals. Yes. Um, I guess mainly just trying to build our presence as well in the street, um, just getting people to know that we're here and that we do offer that retail as well. Maybe down the track we might look at getting a, a bit bigger team as we um, get more and more jobs. So Gladstone's a really busy market at the moment. So yeah, mm. maybe. Who, who, knows who knows what could happen? Yeah. yeah. Very, very interesting market. <laughs> and you know me, I'll just do it and worry about it later. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Well, just get in, do it, do yeah. it. Start uh, before you're ready. <laughs> yes. May as well. Yeah. Um, so you've had a, a fair bit of experience in business now um, and also working with other businesses, designing yes. their space as well as, as residential. Yeah. Do you have a word of advice for other business owners? Yeah, probably I guess is just don't be afraid. You know, try new things, talk to other business owners. And probably my biggest thing is don't be scared to hire people who know more than you. Um, <laughs> You know, That's look, idea. everybody Well, look, I think, you know, if you're the smartest person in the room, there's, you know, you've got a problem. Um, I think you need to have that diverse skill set. Everybody brings something to the table and that way we get a better result for all our clients. Yeah, I think the client benefits overall. Yeah. And uh, it also lowers your risk yes. in the business sense. Absolutely. Yeah. And also allow people to grow and know that some of them might outgrow you and mm. they might go on and that's fine too. That's, a, that's a, actually really interesting that you've, you've said that because I am now seeing it in our business and we've got a lot of these younger people. Yes. I'm not saying old, but younger <laughs> people, um, you know, in their 19s, early 20s. Yes. And they've got so much energy and it reminds you of you know, how you were when you're, you're in business and yes. young, naive and very excited about what was coming up. Yes. You think, oh, thank God these people are turning up because I really need a bit of a break. And then you can sort of come back in when you're ready. So it's very yes. cyclical, yeah. but also good good for growth. Yes. Um, so how, how can people connect with you and find you? Probably our biggest platform is social media. So Instagram is where we are, yes. um, you know, we do stories, we do posts. Uh, yeah, and Facebook as well, just those normal platforms. And obviously our website is open for the retail always, so 24 hours, or pop into the shop, uh, 1400 Gundoon Street. Yes. And yeah, come and see us. Wonderful. And I see you've got a little sip and shop coming up in just in time for Christmas. Yes, we do. So we do that every year. We usually have two, one around Mother's Day and one at Christmas time. So yeah, it'll wear our theme this year is a colourful Christmas. As you can see, we like colour. Well, so yeah, we'll just have, we've got new ranges coming in from um, some of our brands. So people can have a look, add to their wish list, make a few purchases. Mm, yeah, should be fun. Have a, um, a glass of bubbles and some nibbles as well. Yeah, lovely. So yeah. Yeah, perfect. I've come to one of these events before. They're, they're excellent. So. Yeah, thanks. Yes, and Tess is a wonderful hostess if you haven't gathered that already. I do love having people <laughs> around me and entertaining. It's the best. Yeah, so. yeah well done. Yeah. Well, look, you've achieved a lot. Thank you for the good work that you do in the community and creating this amazing space in Gundoon Street. Um, we appreciate your time. Okay. Thank you. Thanks for having me again. No problem. <laughs>